Hello, welcome back. Uh, so we are currently seeing Felix and Robert hitting up before they start their singles game this afternoon. So if you weren't with us earlier, the current state of the test match is New Zealand are a test up, but Australia are 5-3 up in test two after the two rounds of doubles have finished. So this afternoon we've got eight singles games that are uh, happening. Um, we had a doubles game take quite a long time this morning, um, so they, they sort of finished um, about 10 to 1. Um, guys have had half an hour for lunch and the remaining games are going on now. Uh, so we had a couple of games that go on uh, sort of a bit less than an hour ago, um, which we've got some results for. Uh, so we had Ed Wilson playing George Calls from one of the side lawns. It looks like Ed took that first game 7-6. Uh, so it looks like those guys were quite speedy. Um, and we've got uh, Pete Landry playing Duncan Dixon on one of the far, s the far lawn. Not quite sure what the score in that game is, but it looks like they're at Hope 11 in game one. Um, Alison Sharp and Helen Reeves finished game one in their match. We didn't actually see who won that, but we thought we heard New Zealand clap. So we're uh, putting our money on Helen on that one. Um, but we'll see who kicks off first in that one shortly. Uh, so, yeah, Robert and Felix this morning. Yeah, it should be an interesting one, I think. Yeah. Um, what do you think we're going to see in this game, Will? It's difficult to predict. So, so in the morning, I think Rob and Alison had a relatively quick doubles, right? It was yeah. two games. Uh, two games, quite quite quick. They yeah. were first back into the clubhouse. Whereas um, Felix and um, his partner, was it Sonia? Sonia, yeah, Felix yeah. and Sonia this morning. So Felix and Sonia had a much longer drawn out match and that ended up even though it went to two it was seven six seven six and I think it lasted almost four and a half hours it did it was a bit of a slog and Felix 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 was a little bit unfortunate he had um across well I was gonna say across uh, we weren't covering the match for the uh, entire entire stream but we I in the bits that we were I saw him he had th he's had three separate shots where he's dug the lawn up yeah. on shots in one match yeah and it happened a couple of times yesterday I was talking to Phil Drew um, the New Zealand manager about this and apparently Felix he's um, he changed his shaft a couple of times uh, this season and he's still uh, still settling on which shaft is best for him and I think basically they're probably a different length from each other. And each time he swaps to a longer shaft, he maybe takes divots. And each time he switches to a shorter shaft, he'll probably do air shots. But um, I don't know. I I don't know how. I don't know which way the difference will be with Felix having played more this morning. Because I mean, he's played almost three hours more today than um, Rob he has. He has. It, Is he that tired? It, it, will he be tired or will he be warmed up? I don't know. He. It definitely felt as though towards the end of the second game, he sort of felt as though he. Um, wasn't sh quite hitting as straight as he was um, hoping. He he definitely looked. He definitely had quite a few shots towards the latter end of the second game, which he looked he looked really unhappy with. Um, so I'm not sure mentally mm. where he will be going into this. Um, having to come out and play Robert Fletcher after lunch is probably not what he wanted to have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, new match, maybe a new mindset. New match. So looks like Australians Rob's won the won toss, the toss and, and he's about to tee off. Question is, does he know about this hill? Oh, that's ah, that's a little angled, I think. So yeah, so it's uh, probably a little bit more than forty-five degrees. Mm. So yeah, pick one. So Felix will probably choose to go quite deep here. Yep, and I think that's a pretty good spot for the red. Again, it's gone a little bit further than he would expect. But the thing is, blue can't touch him, can he? No, blue, blue's uh, red. Red sufficiently far back that. Felix not right. I can only clear him to the boundary. Spot another another two yards. Yeah. I think to be honest, Felix will be quite pleased to see Blue go a little bit far past because um, I don't know you. Even though we won this morning, he would have been a bit nervous, and and this way he can settle down into the singles. Yeah, you don't want your first cl your first clearance to have to be uh, your twenty one yarder at hope one, do you? <laughs> no, no, because that can so quickly turn into um, what two nil down. Having said that though, Rob might be um kind of a bit well. Rob's, Rob's had a couple more hours off, but they both they both players have had a warm up. Um. That's right, and I suppose I suppose Rob, coming from an AC background, especially, I mean AC is all about sitting down for a long period of time and then coming on and doing a shot despite being cold. And yeah, we're already seeing like that's a much better position shot, isn't it? Yeah, that's a really nice position shot. Uh, so we've got a couple more of the other games going on to the courts as well. Um, 
probably can't see any of them in the background appearing on camera just yet. Um, on uh, the adjacent lawn, lawn one, we've got Dallas playing Judy. Um, on the Dallas is injured of herself. She um, she uh, damaged her knee or re-damaged her knee, so she had a knee problem already, and then she went over backwards on some concrete. Oh dear! It, look, it looks like she's limping a little bit. Actually, exactly. That's it? exactly what she said. Um, and that affected her in the doubles yesterday, and, and she says that overnight it's got worse rather than better. Oh dear. So, um, yeah, oh that looks like it's a lovely way. Uh, that's brilliant. Oh, that's, that's a really brilliant. nice job. So, dilemma for blue. Hoop, yellow, or do you do something about red? Well, you can't put red anywhere. Um, no. uh, red, red's just clear in black regardless of what. Where where it is, isn't it? Do you um, try a snuggle? I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest snuggles more often than you think. This looks like a hoop shot. This is risky, right? I think this is already a result for Felix. Is this a hoop shot or is this yeah, this, this he's not he's not even shot. he's not even looking at yellow, is he? This looks like a hoop shot. And what are the chances that he gets a oh no that hoops That's very great. Um yeah. Yeah, but also look at that hoop. That hoop um so the hoop's not in the same angle as it was before, right? <laughs> <laughs> so all the all the hoops were the... Oh, cracking shot. Oh, look at that. It's gone off towards hoop two as well. Is that hoop five in play with the wire on black, oh. do you think? If it is, fair enough. <laughs> <I> mean, <it's laughs> if it is, it's a great shot. <laughs> I mean, um, I think, to be honest, Felix would have preferred if red had hung around. Just, you know, guarantee hoop one, get yourself two feet on the ground at the start of the first game. Um, Red could turn out to be a nice bonus, but again, as always the case with flicking off to the next hoop, it could turn out to be a liability if Rob turns around and hits this. Yeah, but I mean, we've seen Rob hit quite a lot of these, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, but nevertheless, that's um, you know, maximum distance on black almost, and yeah. he'll be pleased. Uh, yeah, so on the far lawn, we've got Wendy Dixon playing Sonia Sedgwick. And Rob just missing yellow there. Um, so it looks like Felix is taking an early lead, hope well, potentially. Yeah, so we've got that a slightly angled one yard hoop with the uh, red on side down towards hoop two. I mean you'd bank on him to run up to the next hoop here, right? Uh yeah, at least peg high. Oh, and that's through to the boundary. So, so yeah, that's one nil to New Zealand. So is this a characteristic of the young younger players here? Because Running, running through all the way to the boundary. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether um, he could have maybe tried to hold up the power on that and try to maximise position at hoop two, or whether it's just um, sort of career decision. I, I run to the boundary because I know I can hit. I, I know I can run hoops at that strength. Well, so the, the issue with hitting it less hard is that you you do end up with the f speaking from personal experience, <laughs> you, you you do end up with the occasional ones that just trickle through the hoop, and you have mm. and you know they just take so much wire that y y you're sort of screwed for the next hoop. And you know, I mean, Felix is playing quite a clearing game, so I think he's probably much happier with having a ball on that boundary than some of the players might be. The problem um, the problem with that though is that if Blue gets into wide position, Yellow doesn't have the clearance. It does, but I mean, I think we're going to see a classic. We're going. I think we're going to see a classic sort of Felix Webby approach here. You know, Red's in position, and he's going to be taking on that seven-yard clearance with yellow because he's got a lot of lawns to put it into. Um, mm. um, That's true. And so, if you're Rob now, this has got to be position really. Worst case scenario. I don't know. Has he got? Has he got? the same place, right? <laughs> I mean, just make make Felix do the clearance, and that then if he hits it well, that yeah, that's yeah, position. That's sensible. Uh, yeah, I mean, Felix, Felix has got to nail, the, nail the clearance to give a longer shot. That held a little bit, didn't it? That's a little bit too far and a little bit too left. I think it probably held left towards. I don't know whether it held right, down. Let's see where this ended up. The last couple in the doubles he oh. didn't get the great result with, but he should be happy with that. So I think I, I don't think you can read too much into someone's performance in doubles uh, because in singles, in doubles, sorry, you, you've got your flow interrupted. You're only playing a quarter of shots rather than half of shots. And you're sort of having to adapt your natural game to whoever you're playing with. And also, sometimes you walk up to a shot and there's a discussion before the shot. I think in singles, he seems to have a, has a, has his rhythm. Oh, that was difficult. That's um, a bit off, yeah. So yeah. this is Felix Webby going for hoop two. He is currently one lop. And he is helpfully wearing his clothes on his back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> nice contrast with the yellow as well. That's yeah. nice. <laughs> 
Yeah, straight that's straight through that one. So that's 2-0 to New Zealand. And that's a perfect start, really, from yeah. the Kiwi. And from red and yellow as well. So yeah. Having lost a toss, he's... I mean... Oh, it looks like he wants that hoop banging in. I think that we're... Uh, we've not si we didn't see that much of that in the doubles this morning. I think we'll probably see a lot more of that in the singles this afternoon. I think so. Yes, I think... We've had various reports from people that the men have been going, going for longer and more aggressive hoops, which is consistent. I mean, the the blue that Rob took on in the uh, hoop one, I'm not sure if he would have been taking on it. I think he was kind of forced into that hoop one, don't you think? Well, I mean, that's the power of putting that second ball deep, isn't yeah. it? Well, not so much deep, but just somewhere you can't do anything to. Because I think Rob's selection there was go for a hoop he doesn't want or, or snuggle red. He can't clear red. Blocking red is not... I mean, I think it has to just be a snuggle. It has to just be... I can't get a mallet to this, or it can't go anywhere. And neither is a nice shot. Like, just neither is what you want to do. Um, or you could clear, uh, you could have cleared yellow and then let red have a pop at the hoop. But again, that's a bit passive. And I think it's a hopeful sign for spectators out there that Rob took on the um, the aggressive, I'm going to go off and win this hoop, rather than I'm going to let uh, oh, absolutely. Pinks have a hack and this hope he misses. Yeah, no, I think this should be a... Should be a high quality game. Uh, we've just had on the far lawn, just behind lawn two, we've just had on lawn three. Um, we have just had the final men's single start. So that one is Greg Fletcher and he's playing Edmund Fordyce. So we'll uh, probably uh, see some good shots of that match yeah, as well. I think various be points. So a lot of these balls are a little short, right? I, d I don't think any of them are nice to run. No, they um, don't look it. And uh, Rob's down on the floor again. They're they're all short. Um, in the tail end of yesterday's double, we did see that there was a little bit of a hill there, but from memory, it curls towards the hoop, right? Um, anyway. Um, yeah. So this looks this looks like he's going for the hoop again. Jaws or hoop? I'm I not think sure it's which. jaws now, isn't it? There's a lot of balls where his feet want to go. Yeah, but I think jaws here is a bit more attractive than oh it was yes. at hoop one, because. None of those balls are in good jumping position. No, I mean, I mean yellow maybe. Running but along it's the still ground is still hard very enough. angled. Running along the ground here is hard enough. Throw in the, you need to hop over a ball. It's um, it's a bit tricky. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. He definitely look does definitely doesn't look like he likes that. I think it's the right shot though, because even if he faults by some, oh. Yeah, to get rejected. That's an okay place to get rejected too. <laughs> I yeah. think so. What? So yellow stop shots black now? Is that the play? Yeah, so yeah, I feel it's played some nice stop shots at short of short distance stop shots in the doubles earlier. Do you think he meant to um send yellow off towards the side there? Probably not that far off to the side. Mm. Um I suppose I suppose being off towards the side protects against being cleared by blue. But and that's off the boundary. I think that I think that's going to be another characteristic of this game. I think we're going to see a lot of balls off boundaries, <laughs> 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 intentionally off, boun <laughs> off boundaries in front of hoops rather than <laughs> <laughs> for any other reason. Very um, diplomatic. <laughs> <laughs> but that was quite a nice shot, and and actually generated a hell of a lot of power to get red over there. He did. Right? I think he just wanted and to make oh sure blue was off the lawn, and red, red is short, short again. He's trying to get quite close to that. I think you need to be uh, I think you need to be quite close though. If you go too deep, black comes in tight, and blue's got options. Yeah, if blue's got options, but with yellow there, yellow can just clear black. That's it, can true. it can see it concedes a seven yard hoop, but he, uh, he's got to give him that given Especially at two nil up. I, I suppose people taking on seven yard hoops, you're okay if you're two nil up. Yeah, so black's in nice position. I think yellow's got to clear black here. Uh Rob will be looking at blow out red and taking be happy taking that. So yeah, yeah, black can't black. stay there. And actually, he doesn't need to hold on to black too much. Sorry, he doesn't need to hold on to yellow too much. Well, that's oh, oh, that's not what yeah, he wanted at all. I think he'd have preferred all. the other side of that. And so yellow could have hung around and maybe had a go at the hoop itself a little bit later. So now it's important, right? Whether red can run this hoop. I don't think red can run that hoop. It looks way too angled. It looks yeah. more level with it than it does in front of it. But it looks like Rob's taking this on. Shouldn't, shouldn't he be trickling here? Shouldn't he be going taking position? I, th I think it depends how confident you are that you're hitting the hoop and hanging around if you don't run it. Um, what about uh, what about this? What about putting blue in front of black 
and then setting up the promotion. So they let Red do whatever he wants, and then you use Black to hit Blue into hoop running position. Oh, that's quite stylish. Yeah, that's quite stylish. Um, yeah, that's quite stylish. Because now, but the, but the, but the response is surely Red clearing Blue. Red clearing yeah, Blue, all red the balls off the floor. Yeah, okay, but then then you get your seven yards. No, I yeah. like that. I like that. That's because that's I mean clever. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't mean to sound so surprised. <laughs> I mean, actually, if Rob's going to get rejected, getting rejected to the side, as that's happened, okay. It's okay. But if you get rejected, if you catch less of the wire and flick off, um, off towards hoop four or hoop five, I or don't like this. Four. I think this has to be boundary, doesn't it? If you go with anywhere blue there, with blue there, with red in front, any red anywhere here, if jaws. he doesn't get, it's got to be jaws and. Yeah, but that's not good. I think I think tight in front would have worked if blue weren't level with the hoop. But blue is level with the hoop. It's mm. protecting anything in front of the hoop that's not really deep. If he goes if he goes a couple of yards off, Black's just playing a stop shot. I think boundary is boundary. Yeah, absolutely. Because if Rob takes a hack at the hoop, this looks like it's a shot at the hoop. Again, that's a bit surprising. I think Rob may be being a bit too aggressive here. I don't know. I mean. Felix is what the second highest ranked player in the world. He's got oh. to <laughs> Well, I think that's an easier way to prove me wrong. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nice shot. So it is now two one to Felix. Rob just having run a really nice hoop three. And actually, look and at look red. At, look at red. That's not got an approach to hoop four. Uh, where's yellow going to end up? It looks like it might be a bit short and quite long. So Felix is already well down at hoop four. Yeah. So we just need good position here from Rob. Mm. Um, and I think Yellow's basically going to be committed to taking a shot at hoop four from where it is. Yeah. Ooh, I mean that's not nice. It's not nice at all. Rob just needs to be somewhere. Oh, that's, that's a bit, a bit short. short as well. Yeah. I don't. That's I a little careless. You know, I mean, Felix. Felix is addressing this as though he's going to play it down the lawn. Oh, that's much better than I thought he could do from where he was. Mm. He's gone. So red, sort of in the action, about three yards to the side of the hoop and a little well, bit behind. To be honest, that's not too bad because if black comes in tight now, which I think would have been Rob's preferred option, red can clear black country mile, um, and that and that means that yellow can just take position or go for the hoop. Yeah, I think red being able to get there is uh, much better than we expected. It's, uh so it's a bit awkward from. Oh, and that's an in off. That looks like it might require a big target for yellow. Yeah, it might not be an enough, but it means that. Oh know. no, I think that is an enough. But even so, if, he, if Felix goes to the hoop and messes it up, he's got oh great. Yeah, nice off. shot. So three one. Three one to Felix, um, New Zealand. And he's racing through, like they're racing through this game, right? So it looks like we've had a result from one of the other games. It looks like Pete and Duncan have finished their first game. And it looks like Duncan is playing first in game two, so I can only assume that that is an Australian win in the yeah, first game there. It so is. we think we have two wins in the men's singles. Didn't actually uh, find out whether Alison had won the uh, no, won or lost the. But I think Australia are in a pretty commanding position in this test at the moment. Yeah, so they're currently 5 3 up in test two. In matches, and they've got the lead in a. Another couple of games in, in another couple of best of threes at the moment. So they need. Oh, that's a nice ball in front. I think that might be getting in the way of. So oh Australia no. need to win four of these singles matches to win, and three to draw. Yes. Uh, yes, three to draw. Oh, and that's a cracking clearance. Ah, that's brilliant. Um. And this is beginning to um. This is beginning to get out of control a bit. Um, Rob's got to do a huge return roke now. He does, and the position of black means black it's quite likely awkward. that if he hit, if he hits if he hits the right hand side of red, red's probably colliding with black. If he gets the angle exactly wrong, wrong will stop red will stop dead on black. If he gets anything on the left, blue is probably clearing black. The positioning of black doesn't look so good now, does it? No. But no, I mean. Now this is a real captain's performance so far by Felix. Um. Yeah, so both blue, red, both red and blue, basically directly in front of hoop five there. So Robert's not hit. 
he's not hit a long one yet, so. Oh, and that's a danger. Great shot. Great shot. But yeah, red and black so close. Great shot and. But red straight onto black there. Um, clear in black, so uh, Felix has got a low risk hope here. Yeah, and with the chance to go be four. Interesting to see whether he draws us, plays hard, or. Oh what? no, I think he, he's just running this. I mean, there aren't any to balls the any. There aren't any balls anywhere near hoop six. Yeah. Or to there. <laughs> That. He took a bit of wire. He took a lot of wire there. That would have been off the boundary if it had been quite clean. But 4 1 New Zealand. Um, I think Red might have a bit of trouble with a pair getting to six, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it looks like it's a bang on line. I suppose the issue is, is that Rob's approaching from a fair distance away. He is. If he's you can get black hidden behind the peg, then it's very strong position. No, I don't think that's going to be hidden behind the peg. Uh, yeah, that looks like it's open on the right. Mm. Yeah, that looks like it's open on the yeah, right, but open. black's in nice position in front of the hoop otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yellow approaching from just shy of the halfway mark. Uh, this might be short. I think we've had quite a few approaches from here that have been short. Um. <laughs> oh, and <laughs> commentator's curse. Yeah, lid. <laughs> That's gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to get. He tried to get quite close again there, actually, didn't he? Yeah, it's a bit of. Um, given that both players are pretty happy at the moment to go for longer hoops, they've nevertheless been going quite tight. Um, oh, that looks like it might curve and block, block red and black. Oh, no, 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 it's curving. But it's still really nice position in front of the hoop. So I think red and black is open here. Um. He's got to go for it, right? The issue is... Red on black, oh yeah. Let's see what we're going for that. Oh, oh, wow, that jumped over black. We, get, we should probably have a replay of that, I think. That's pretty unfortunate. And actually, we've not seen too much of that, have we? No, that's the first one I've seen. So this is another... I mean, it happened to Robert Five. You play a good shot and get a bad outcome. Now it's happened to Felix. And it's a shame when it happens, but you've just got to let it go. Yeah, I mean, but you just... Yeah, I mean, he even if Rob runs this, he, he's 4-2 up in... Oh, and he's not run it. But I think yeah, I don't think yellows in hate running. Oh, yeah. So it looks like we've got that replay ready. Yep, so jumped straight right over, over the black. Top. Uh, so it would it would have been hitting centre ball on black. Oh dear. Yeah. And so actually, even after Rob's blobbed that, that yellow being out of position is still costing Felix. Yeah, I think perhaps going a little bit deeper there. Mm. Because. If yellow stop shots, I mean, blue, yeah, I mean, what's red, what can red see on black. Red's half probably got half a ball on black. I, I mean, are you going for the cannon here? Black onto blue is playable, but you lose yellow. I think that's. No, he's going for the half ball on black, isn't he? Problem is, you need to play it with a bit of power. If you, I um, don't think that'll be a problem for Felix. Though, I mean, no, but as in, like, you need to play it with a bit of power, so you really lose yellow. You can't. Like you really oh, the black, oh, the, the bombard, you mean, yeah. Mm. yeah. And if you try to switch it the other way so it's yellow com colliding with blue, again, you need to play it with power. It's not one of those where you can just play it gently, because if you play it gently and you get the bombard, blue just stops shots yellow. And it's still got a ball in front and you're still miles away. And that's not a great approach. Um, no, I don't think he was trying to go that tight either, was he, where from where he's from? I don't think he's setting up for anything fancy like a rush, uh, but that's... Well, I mean, he could probably only see half a ball anyway. Yeah, so... So what do you reckon? Black through by about a foot and set up the rush to seven? Looks quite attractive, doesn't it? Mm. Um, although, to be honest, I've not seen... I don't think I've actually seen any rushes played. I was going to say, if someone's going to do it, you'd back Rob. But has he just he's just run through to the boundary? He's just run through to the boundary. Well, uh, yeah, but I mean, you get more distance on the clearance on the ball in front of seven if this is just if this just goes straight in front. Yeah, but I mean, if if black runs through by foot, yellow plays there. You leave red where it is, perhaps. R blue rushes black in front. It doesn't have to be that good. Red's no, got it doesn't have to be that good because it'll be because ro Rob's going. It's going to be Rob playing the hoop shot, isn't it? Yeah, and then red's got a long clearance. And if, if you leave it where it down in corner one, then even if he hits, he's actually not clearing you that far. You might still have that hoop shot. The rush is generally eggs all in one basket approach, especially, especially at some of the other hoops when you yeah. try it there, isn't it? I mean but when you're a former AC world champ, 
It's a pretty good basket to have your eggs in, right? <laughs> So this is just blue in front and deeper than yellow. Yeah, so we're expecting the sequence of play. Go red's going to take position and then we're expecting Rob to clear yellow. And the clearance on yellow is probably going to come to this side boundary and because blue's gone quite deep, we've got the sort of same... Oh, that's very close to yellow. Mm. Uh, I think we might have another situation where if black clears yellow, yellow's colliding with red here. I think, I think by the time it hits with red already... Um, doesn't have to go much further before it's too angled to easily run. Yeah, and I, I don't. I'm, I'm not sure Felix would have been playing for putting the red there. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> seems like a. It seems like there's easier useful ways useful to use outcome, that. Useful outcome, yes. Yeah, it seems <laughs> like there's easier ways to use such a precise shot. Yeah, so Rob clearing yellow here. Yeah, you might get a bit of a bonus. No, just yellow. I mean, he'll be happy with that in a way. I mean, to be honest, that's probably what he expected before Red played his shot there. He'll just be clearing yellow. Yep. Um, and they seem much hotter on putting the balls on the lawn here when they've gone off than they have been in some of the other games. Yeah, because that's... Which is good. Which I which yellow's is good. about to be played, yeah. but... Um, yeah. Well, no, I mean, it was. I was going to say, it was really important with Red um, when Felix jumped Red over Black earlier. That's um, true. Because that, cause that ball was so critical with Black being... Absolutely. Black being in that position in front of the hoop. And actually, it was kind of... Oh, now that's neat. That's neat. So by promoting him, he's changed Red's shot from a, you know, I don't really want to take this hoop shot to, to a, a really, really nice, nice ball one. straight in front. And Yellow's actually got quite a nice hoop shot. And I think Rob's being forced into the hoop here, right? Yeah, this looks like it's a hoop shot. He's not been afraid to take on those hoops, has he? I mean, that oh, oh, nice cracking. shot. Cracking shot. Yeah. So 4-3 to New Zealand now. Yeah, and we've seen and some nice, uh, nice aggressive hoops being run in this game, I think. And actually, is Red hampered to do that? It's probably okay. I think it's just gone far enough past the side of that hoop for it to be fine. And yeah, he's played that nicely down by the side of the hoop. Yeah. How close is that? Oh, that it's looks... a couple of yards. I, I it's an okay depth. Um, yeah, so I think we've had... I think we've this had some issues with right. people approaching two back, so I think that's okay. I think I think you don't want to try and get too close to that one. And that needs a bit more legs on it. It does, yeah. I suppose I suppose the way Rob's been taking on hoops, he'll be happy enough when it comes to run that. And it boils down to does blue hit this clearance now? Yep. And it seems like um, at the start of this game, Felix came out pretty hot, as in. Um, he ran a good hoop once, did a good clearance over two, and Rob just seemed a little bit off the boil by comparison. But I mean, if you've been sat down for three hours, like a five minute warm up doesn't compensate for three hours of play. No. And maybe now he's beginning to warm up a bit. And yep, yeah, and nice clearance. Yeah. And so this, this is shaping up to be a really cracking match, I think, because both players are playing really well. And what do you reckon? Return clearance? Is this going to turn into a um, Yeah, this will be a match? This will be a return clearance. If you just look at the hoops that we've seen Rob run in this game, he ran three from the boundary with, mm. with red near that wire without touching it. Um, okay, he ran an um, easy hoop at six, and he's run a really nice hoop seven. So yeah, yeah, nice, and it was pressure hoop seven too. I think this needs to be a clearance here. Yep, and that looks like what he's going for. Yeah, oh, which he has in the shot. middle. Yeah. And red sort of hanging around, so it's sort of gone peg high-ish. Yeah, red's, red's still threatening there, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, Felix will probably be thinking, I don't really want to have to take that hoop shot on. No, but it's much better than the ball being no corner too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, but at least he's got that option. And now Rob's kind of... Now Rob's kind of a bit forced into... He's got to hold on to the black ball here, right? He need, He can't leave yellow there. Is this a position? I don't think he's shooting at yellow. This is position. Come on, that looks a bit short. Wow. So he's got a really nice block on red on the hoop there with black. Uh, why is blue? Blue's off this boundary, is it? Yeah, yeah. blue's behind hoop one. Yeah, so this is Felix going for hoop eight. And it's good to just see him say, I like this hoop shot, I'm having the hoop shot, and I don't care that black's there. Yeah, we've seen a lot of that in the doubles with people. Uh, 
choosing to decline the hoop shots or going for their safe clearances. And I think it just drags the hoop out. It drags the hoop out, yeah. And and it's a vicious um, cycle. Like When you do it a couple of times, you're more likely to do it more. And uh, that's a good nice shot. Hoop. Yeah. That's a good shot. So that is 5-3 to New Zealand. But still pretty even. If Rob gets a good position in front of nine and Felix doesn't clear him, then there's a good chance that Rob will run up to ten and before you know it, it can be five all. Yeah, so I mean, we've got to remember this scoreline was Felix was 4-1 up, so. That's true. The uh, recent momentum is uh, working in Rob's favour. I think he's sort of warmed up a little bit after having played a few more of those clearance shots. That's and true. that looks like it. Oh, that's a fair Ooh, fair. That's might good. have gone a little no, bit too far. Right. So I'd say that's about it's two runnable. and a half, two, three feet in front, and maybe one foot to the side. So I think that's a little angle, but I don't think it's anything to be too worried about. So will we ha be having one shot or two at this? Looks like, it looks like two. two. A bit surprised. And that's a danger. So Yeah, so, so I think this will just be a blocking ball, you reckon? Trying to block the yellow one position play? at the moment. I think with um with red safely in corner four. Yeah, but I mean just just make sure you've got a ball in position so that red has to like even if yellow clears, red's got to that's do another gone clearance. To that's that was blocking position. That was blocking that was, position. And it's gone a little bit too far. No, but that's fine. It's that's still good. a good ball in front. Actually I'd say if you could pick the ball up and put it anywhere other than blocking position, you'd be happy with that. Well, I wouldn't be everywhere I want to put my left foot. But, <laughs> 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 but yeah, almost anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Still, I don't think um, Felix will be leaving blue there because of black. <laughs> oh, so it looks like uh, we have we have Phil Drew talking to uh, George, George Coulter. Coulter. So I expect that match is finished, which must mean that we that Ed won game two as well. That was a very speedy game. It was. It was very quick. Uh, so they must have just started that maybe quarter to four? Quarter to one-ish, maybe a little bit before that. Yeah, so that's contrasting with... Oh, um, no, it's three o'clock now. No, 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 this clock is an hour. Oh, <laughs> wow, okay, yes. Anyway, shall we get back to the game rather <laughs> than the <laughs> clocks? <laughs> oh, and, and the second shot misses two. Yep, and ba ball bouncing back up the concrete again. So with two balls on the side boundary, slightly angled, five, three down. Jaws or hoop? I think it'll just be wanting to power this down to hoop 10, to be honest. power? You don't want this off the boundary, really. If you're 5-3 up, yeah, just take the hoop, get it done. 5-3 down, you need this hoop and the next. That's a good hoop. It, it took um, a bit of pace off it, but it spat out at an awkward angle, and it's actually... It's just outside corner three. But yeah. that's still clearing position, clearing and, position and, and you're not going to get wired from that. So well, certainly arguably not if you want to run the hoop. Arguably a good spot. Oh, that's very wide. And the hill's going to drag it wider. That's... Um, not sure. Do you think that was going I mean for a wide position? I mean, that's gone offside, right? Yeah, that's that's offside. I mean, I I think he must have been aiming wide to start off with and maybe got caught a bit of hill because... That's very yeah, far it's from gone the hoop. Very wayward, and it's not the side you want to be. Because, okay, yeah, Red can clear a ball in front of the hoop, but he's only clearing black maybe seven yards. Yeah, so, so that looks like it's nice and in front. Yep, that's exactly where he wants to be. Oh, and look at that. <laughs> a little bit of twist there on the ball towards the end. It's a bit awkward. It's fine, though. It's still it's still hoop runnable. And, oh, that's going to be... So does Blue need to do this clearance? I mean, he's he's probably no, not he's probably not so. liking the clearance on Red. Well, I don't think there's no any need because where's Red clearing Black to? You're exactly. You're, you're much better taking your seven yard clearance than this. I think position is good shot, enough, right? I think uh, I think position with Blue. Yeah, position with Blue. And see what Red does. And hope that Felix doesn't catch the left hand edge of Black to send it up up the lawn. It's got to be a very fine edge to take it more than oh, more than pet more than halfway high. I don't think, think it. I think. I think Ooh, penalty spot high is. Oh, that's interesting. Don't think that was quite blocking red at black. I don't think it is. It could be. Um, no, could be a distraction. Uh, maybe Phyllis. Oh, but it's actually a, a difficult hoop shot, blue. Blue is a very difficult hoop shot, but black is. Doable. But Rob has taken. But Rob, but I mean. I think that's. 
perhaps easier than the hoop shot he took at hoop one. Um, yeah, but he only took that hoop shot because he was forced into it. Yeah. And that's a nice cut. Yeah, that's a really nice that's cut. That's really I think nice. I Hanging think on the boundary near the hoop. Yes. Yeah. I nice. think that's the maximum angle that you can safely aim for. Yeah. Because if you aim for much more of a cut than that and you get it slightly wrong, you might still hit the black ball, but there's not enough power going into it to shift it anywhere. And what now? It's you've got to do something about yellow, right? Don't you think? Don't you think you have to do something about yellow here? So yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> 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 Will paying full attention to what I'm eating. <laughs> yeah, so Rachel has been up here all day, and um, her lunch and breakfast schedules have been a bit messed up. And she was just taking oh, a nice quick coat. snack break, <laughs> and th that was the one time I asked her a question. So sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. You're sorry, I'm sure she'll um, find the timing <laughs> later. <laughs> After he steals the rest of my cake, but yes. <laughs> so I think this is going to be uh, yellow and blue. Do you? That's what he was lining up. Yellow really has. To, I mean, if yellow. If yellow misses or catches half a ball, Felix in a pretty bad situation. This has to be centre ball, right? Felix has got a ball on that side boundary. Yeah, but that's his positioning ball, right? That looks oh, good. Oh, that's pretty good. A little bit of aerial there on yellow, which uh, dragged it a little bit further than it probably would have gone. But No, but he hit that pretty much centre ball. Yeah, that was a nice shot. If he did. Yeah. I wonder what happened. Uh, that, that shot that he had earlier at hoop six where it just hopped over black. i got no idea because, I mean, normally balls hop when you... um. When either you hit down on it and you by accident, um, but if anything, Felix has been in you know hitting the ground first. Um, so I don't know if it's that one. And sometimes the ball starts off in a little hollow. Oh yeah, so Felix is just asking to move the ball in there a little bit. I think there's a couple of um, hollows along that boundary. Okay. He might be a bit more um, aware of you know these problems now. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah. conscious of um, the effects they can have. So yeah, red's in very good position. It's um, going to be quite difficult for yellow to get a wire on blue, though. I don't think it? you even bother. I no. think you just aim centre ball blue, because um, aiming for the, you know, the extreme edge it's of blue, you don't yeah, need to miss it by much to miss it's altogether. It's too far, isn't it? And that's short. And that's a bit of a let off, really. Yeah, definitely don't need to because aim for the edge of blue now. Blue's not, blue's not going very far, and well, it's nine, ten yards if he gets it into the corner. Ooh. Wow, he's gone for the cut, and I think he's got it. That, if Felix meant that, that's a very, very, very good shot. If it's a little bit further, to I the think right, I think yeah. it's a little bit more open than Rob thinks, but I don't, but think, it's but I, I don't it's think it's full ball by any stretch. No, that's not much of a ball at all. And that, that's huge, right? Yeah, that's. A what can Rob do? He can. That's he can, a game-winning shot, I think. He can hit what he can see, and he can't see very much. Going through the hoop backwards doesn't help, because one, it's a very difficult shot, and two, I don't think I'll come out at the right angle. Sticking in the jaws is just asking for trouble. No, red's a little bit too far away from the hoop, and it's not straight, is it? So going, no. going through the hoop's a bit of a Hail Mary. Um, oh, and he oh, got that's something. Brilliant. Nice shot. Yeah, that's I mean, really that's, that's replay-worthy, I think. Yeah, he got because what he uh, could see there, didn't he? I mean, it's, um, it's a bit of a frustration as a player sometimes when you can see a slither of the ball and you hit all you can see and the crowd thinks you've done a bad shot. But I mean, that was a really terrific shot. And given that he's five four down, the pressure on that shot is huge. So yeah, cracking shot there. Yeah, so I think we've got the replay on that ready. So yeah, Rob was clearing that. Felix is born in front of hoop 10. We don't think he had very much of that at all. So let's see what we can see. <laughs> Super slow mo replay. <laughs> so, where do you think black going? Do you think it's going off the lawn? Yeah. I think it needs to, right? That's a good shot. Yeah. And actually, to generate that power and get black off the lawn despite taking it pretty much full in the face, that's quite a well, lot of power I don't required, think right? That was completely full in the face. There was definitely a little bit of angle on that, but I mean, the risk is just too great. You can't leave black on the lawn. With with red with red where it was. But having said it's that, just asking to be yellow's 
the yellows rolled down that hill that we saw a lot of yesterday. And Rob's pretty grateful for that, I'm guessing. Because now, Mike doesn't have to do his clearance. Yeah, but I mean, at this sort of hoop, you've got to be looking for positions where you can put a ball in and then you can hit your seven-yard clearance cost, co cost that's true. court in order to win the hoop. I mean, <laughs> that's, that, true. that's that's the scenario that you're looking to play for at this hoop, isn't it? I mean, bo both players just keep hitting their balls off that boundary. Yeah. To try and generate that. So yeah. So actually, yeah, maybe, maybe Rob's seeing it as a bonus of even if he misses his clearance with black, yellow's not running the hoop. Yellow's hoop shot has been replaced by clearance now. And that's got to be a bonus, whichever way you look at it. But having said that, blue's that's a bit going wide as well. Deep? No, that's wide. It's wide. Well, so if you go, if you, but the thing is, if he goes anywhere deep within seven to <laughs> ten yards of Felix, he's Felix yeah. is just deep's not good because if he's too near the hoop, as in like if in his if he's in a good hoop running position, yeah, it's just going to clear him. And if you go too far, well, you're not in hoop running position. So what's the point? Could well be a block. Yeah, that looks like it's blocking Blue's hoop shot. It's quite interesting because uh, games played at this sort of level look very different to lots of games that people that play GC at a club might sort of play just because both players are so comfortable at hitting the ball a long way at seven yards. Yeah. Sometimes sometimes a seven-yard clearance is not a problem but more like an opportunity. You see Black here. If Blue was slap bang in front, Black would be looking to nail yellow. And and Rob would be looking at this saying, if I do a seven yard clearance, Felix has to turn around and do a twenty one yard clearance. And that's a pretty good trade. Yeah, especially if he's got a ball plum in front and he's looking at if Felix misses that clearance, he's running the hoop. But it looks like Rob's lining up this clearance right on red. So Well it's a safety clearance, isn't it? Uh, but blue's only going to the boundary. I know, no, no, no. it's just position. We've not quite clocked the different stances yet between take out and no, position. Not, I, I was gonna say the last time I saw Rob played GC was the under twenty one worlds in Cairo in two thousand and nine. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just a I while ago. Have, um, <laughs> showing our age. Yeah, I think you may have changed <laughs> a few things in the last ten years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so another another shot there with uh, Felix taking that ball off that boundary whilst clearing Rob's ball. Yeah, and that goes back to what we were saying before about the seven yard clearance is not actually that big a problem for these guys. And they see it. They they want one. Like they're yeah. they're quite happy, and they'll play for it rather yeah. than try to avoid them. So Rob's got the dilemma now. Where does he leave blue after he's cleared red? So he needs very difficult choice. He needs to move red out of hoop running position. But if he leads blue in front of the hoop, we're in exactly the same situation we've been talking about, where you know red takes position, black takes position, and yellow's got now what an eight yarder to clear blue to corner two. Mm. Um, so I think Felix will just put a ball in front here and bank on hitting that clearance well. Absolutely. I mean, I think I think for a moment Felix would have toyed with the idea of let's hit blue full in the face, get rid of blue and hold position. But that shot, if it works, it's great. But if it goes wrong, it goes very wrong. So one of the shots that I sort of like, I mean, the ball the balls weren't quite in position for it there, is if um, is if, is sort of red nudging blue a little closer towards yellow and then going off blue into a nice hoop running position to sort mm. of do it as a sort of two stage two stage sort of clearance but yeah absolutely I think it's something to look out for but, but there, there it wasn't like quite the no, right the orientation was the it the angle was a little bit wrong to do it where did you learn that trick I thought I, I thought that was my trick <laughs> <laughs> that's mine taking yours, credit yeah. <laughs> taking credit for my tricks <laughs> oh and that looks like it's nice position by right is that a block probably not quite right oh it might be so Felix is asking permission to bring in, and and at this stage in the game, because there's already been a couple of bring it like um, rolling in, normally it's taken as granted, and 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 the one exception is when there's like a half ball available. So I wonder whether yeah, so he Felix he has got half a ball, and he's he just checking with Rob that it's yeah, you know probably because he bought he bought the ball in again after um, without consulting Rob mm. um, after having Rob previously been fine with it, which is completely normal. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's quite a nice courtesy to extend sometimes. Um, just to make sure that, you know, if you've got half a ball block, just to... Oh, oh that's yeah, a great nice shot. Well oh, done. And gone up to is there a bonus? Well. Yep. So yellow's rolled off towards the middle of the lawn. Yep, so and I think we'll be taking a jump with red. Taking a jump with red? Oh, yeah. Well, blue's... Blue's got the Blue shot has first. a say about that first. Yep. But if red's still there, I think with yellow there, red yeah, might be taking a jump. Yeah, I think so. 
it's still quite it's short. Pretty it's tempting. probably only two yards. Yeah, and maybe a little bit longer, but less than three. And the clearance there with yellow misplaced. I mean, so yellow's nice so long as the hoopers run in the next um, rotation of shots. If neither red nor black run this hoop, then yellow's just out of position. And um, yeah, the jump the jump's a clear option for red. So the question is, will Rob will Rob stop red? Yeah, so red sh Rob shooting at red there. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice clearance. Brilliant, brilliant. So he likes to clear black now with red. And now that yellow is a problem. So red is clearing here to stay alive. He'll struggle to hold position, right? Oh, he just say uh, he'll he'll be out of position, but I think as long as he gets you know something in the middle of this, he'll be hanging around, um, and he'll probably be hanging around, threatening clearing into the lawn. Oh, that's quite that's hard. Quite hanging a lot of power. Around. Don't think I'd have gone with so much power on that. That's the issue with hitting hard. It's great if you just want black gone, but black gone's not enough unless yellow's in position. No, it's not. That's because now black comes back, and yellow or red are forced to do a clearance, just to stay alive in this hoop. But this hoop's been quite difficult to approach, so let's see. That looks nice. That looks nice. That hoop run won't be the hardest shot Rob's had to do at this, <laughs> at this hoop, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> I think it will probably be dispatched by yellow. Oh, yep. cracking. And both balls off the boundary again. <laughs> and this is what we've missed a little bit in the doubles, I think. Oh, we've we've not had this in the doubles at all. And I think part of that is just the both players here are clearly in their flow. They they're not second guessing. They're not having to, you know, ask permission or justify that they want to take shots on. Yeah, I think I think I think there is a lot of mediation in doubles, particularly to sort of you know going towards more conservative shot selections. Yeah. Because because you know you're worried about letting your partner down. There's that. Yeah, and quite often, if if you ask a partner, they'll say, "Well, just do what you were doing singles." It's it's quite a common response. But even so, it preys on your mind when you're taking the shot. Oh, I don't want to let so and so down. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to sort of force them to play my game when they're not comfortable. Um, whereas in singles, all that's gone. Yeah, I was going to say the the opportunity to make the decision about about the decision about what's happening with both balls and to know that it can be you executing the shot is a major yep. difference, isn't it, between the doubles and the singles? And I think, especially with the mixed. With the mixed um, doubles, there's been um, a lot of there's been a lot of differences between the skill sets of uh, between the men and the women. We've skill sets and yeah, play styles yeah. in general, um, and philosophies about whether to be aggressive or defensive. Yeah, we've seen a lot of um, big clearances from the from the men. A few from the women actually as well. A few from um, women, yeah. Um, but looking at looking at the singles play here as well, it looks like the and are definitely defaulting into the balls on the boundaries and they're also shooting. But this is what um, competitive GC at the top looks like level yep. is looking like, right? Yep. The only thing that you could really add to this is on top of these cracking clearances, can you clear them to somewhere where they can't clear you back? Because that's the next level. If both people are shooting extremely well, it's not enough to put 20 yards between you and you need, ball. you need a hoop, you need a, a hoop, you need a yeah. peg, you need another ball, and then you transition from great to like incredible play. Yeah, I mean that 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 clearance that um, Felix did earlier, leaving Rob at the smidgen of the smidgen of the ball, was a really nice shot. And then the, the well, the clearance the back just proves my point even yeah, more. No, the clear the clearance back, he hardly had anything, did he? Uh, but yeah, he, those balls completely wired. <laughs> So we've got uh, an opportunity for the hoop here. So Felix has got a six yarder on blue here. So I'll be able to get this back across to corner Ooh. two. Ooh. Don't think that's what he's aiming for, but has he got lucky? He's I lost yellow off to the side boundary. Open. I think it's still open. We'll know in a moment from Rob's reaction. Because you have to be pretty bold to go for that card. <laughs> And yeah, he's just lining this up. So I think this is a seven yard and there's a lot of space into which he can hit red here. Yeah, there is. But I think if he gets anything on the right, it's going off towards the boundary. It's going to leave a relatively short clearance. That's um, true. Because I think the wide spot is somewhere between red uh, and black. Oh, that's a great but clearance. <laughs> yeah, slightly on the left. That's lovely. And that red ball will be on this, sh this boundary straight in front of us. So that's going to be, what, a 25, 25 yard clearance? Yeah. For Felix. 
and we've been on the soup a little while now. That's not a bad thing because it's actually been one of the best hoops so far. Yeah, it's been an excellent display of a. But I don't think we've had a hoop shot yet, have we? Have we had an opportunity for a hoop shot? Because what's strange is that, you know, after 10, 15 minutes of just clear, 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 when you eventually get, okay, I'm going to run a hoop now, <laughs> it can be difficult to take your chance. Having worked 15 minutes for your one chance, when it comes, you're not quite in a. <laughs> I'm going to take a hoop shot now rather than a clearance. Yeah. yeah. I don't think we have had any shots at the tape, have we? I don't think there's been a chance, right? I don't think so. We've certainly not had any declined. They keep hitting them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if Red hits black here. Ooh. Ooh, close. And it looked like the hoop had a little bit of chance there as well. Yeah, it looked like, I mean, there was a gap. He went through it. But um, I don't think he'd have been aiming for the gap. Gap gap. There, he'd have been aiming for black. No, I think I think you take black, and then if it hills left or goes left and runs a hoop, that's the bonus. I don't think you aim for the middle. Not but when not when you're shooting and as that's accurately a good as these guys do. Yeah. So Rob's run that off the boundary, which was really important. If he'd ended up a little bit short of red, then black would have probably been dispatched to the back to our boundary. Mm. And this is what we were saying, wasn't it? Five three um, can quite quickly turn around to five all. Rob ran a good hoop nine and he ran it down the lawn and that gave him okay he wasn't in front of hoop 10 but it gave him a say over what Felix could and couldn't do at 10 and then it was a drawn out hoop but eventually Rob has turned it around yeah and now we're just back down to the final three hoops again it's and it's pretty even it is and uh, yeah it I is think it Felix is but that still that have a slight edge that red first. is very close to black if this yellow gets really nice position I'm, Which defi he has. I'm definitely going to be looking at playing that block or that snuggle with red on black it probably depends your play style uh, you're right red being so close to black is a bonus for Felix here because it gives him the option of going for the snuggle or the I block th I think Rob will be going for this clearance with blue yeah this looks like a clearance with blue and, and the way he's been shooting I think yeah. where yeah. he's been shooting and where red is I think I think if red weren't so close to black, Rob would be putting a ball in here. Or at least I, I think he should be in this circumstance. But you're right, blue could go into position and red could take away black's only shot. And then actually blue could be stuck behind the hoop in the peg for 12 and lose a game there and then. And Ooh, Ooh, and missed. I think I'm definitely playing this shot as red and yellow. What, you're putting the block in? Yeah. I'm not so sure. I like that. I think there've been there've been there've been too many there've been too many 15 yard clearances hit in this game. And Rob needs a lot. Rob needs a lot of 15 yard clearances before he gets a hoop shot, right? If red goes into position here, black clears, come uh, yellow comes back. No, 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 I'm playing up to black. I know, I know, but if you mess up your block, uh, it looks like he's I probably playing along the line towards the hoop. I think for me that's the right decision. So long as red's in position, Rob's got a hell of a lot of work to do to get a shot at this hoop. That's not in position. It's too bad we don't have a side-on shot at that, actually, because if that's um, a few inches north of the hoop, then it's not runnable. But if it's as much as a foot, then it's almost certainly runnable. Shot. But this is what I mean. I just think there have been too many clearances to hit in this game, and I think you've got a good opportunity to not give Rob a clearance at that hoop. I see what you mean. As in, like, I agree that Rob was odds on to um, clear there. But the thing is, he's cleared. He's done what he was aiming to do. He's now in exactly the same situation two seconds later. That's the danger. And I think that's why um, Felix was right to put his um, ball in rather than take position, because if Red had messed up that block, and instead of being in front of the hoop was currently, you know, behind 10, then blue can just be putting a ball in position here. As it turns out, red's not in position. I think he went a bit too tight. And that means that Rob can put a ball in front of 11 anyway. Yeah, I think he should have gone perhaps played a little bit further back if he was going to play in front. Yeah. Um, because uh, you're putting that ball in to force them to take a clearance rather than putting a ball in, aren't you? Mm. Um, so you need to make sure that's definitely in front. And that could be a bit risky. I I'm don't not sure like, I that. like that. No, I, think I don't like that at blue. all. It feels a bit negative, but basically under that circumstance, Felix would be exchanging a three-yard clearance on blue for 
That's a 15 yard clearance. Blue's got a yellow. nice angle on red as well. Yeah. Lifted. And wow, that could be a big swing. Yeah. Because now Felix has got to hit blue, and what does he get for hitting it? I think he still gets a lot because I think red still runs. Do you? Yeah, I think I think the hoop has decided on this shot. I don't think red runs. I think red runs. Red certainly draws us, and I think it probably runs. It might not run all the way down to 12, but I'm pretty sure it'll run. Like Felix would have been pretty upset if, from where he was, he's, he's put red into an unrunnable position. It's very difficult, though, when you're playing gentle Ooh. shots around hoops, though, isn't it? Um, it is. Especially if the, there are a couple of undulations or the lawn's exactly. not completely flat. So this could be a pretty important shot, I think. Yeah, so he ran a lovely one at hoop three, didn't he, with red in a similar position? See, look, so from this camera angle, we can see that there's a bit of distance between red uh, and the hoop. Yeah. I think that means, right now, that might be good news for Felix, because it probably means that there's no in-off that's uh, readily available. I, th I think it's still there. I think it's just more difficult. But you'd be going for the hoop here, right? This is hoop for game. Because with red where he is, he's going to struggle to get a say over 12. I'm going for whatever gives me the biggest chance of running. I cool, I make your call. Red or hoop? Red. I think we were both right. <laughs> 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 I think that was an in-off attempt. I think on balance that was probably a bit simultaneously greedy and defensive. It's strange to say. I think that's okay. He's back in control of the hoop, which given where he was is a good result. <laughs> that's true. That's true. He's wrestled control of this. And, and he's wrestled control of it because he hit a really good clearance, which he wouldn't have had if he'd played the, well ball, I think the ball up. If he'd well, actually, I, I, I don't know if that's a whole truth because if Felix had played into run hoop running position, Rob would have been stuck doing clearances. Yeah, that's true. I think, yeah, I think there are a few times when you're playing a little bit further out and the hoop is uh, yeah. safer. Yeah. So this just comes into This just needs position, to be a nice position. Which it looks like it is. And just off the line between... It's very tight that's again. That's, that's a, a long very look, good at shot. look at that line. That's excellent. And blue's got a really good line for blocking red on black next shot as well. If you could pick up black and put it anywhere on the lawn with that shot, other than the draws, yeah. you'd choose there, right? Yeah, that's, that's, um, that's a really good I think shot. that's blocking red's hoop shot. And yeah. also what's nice is that the line between red and black is very similar to the line between red and blue. And that means that blue can play along it and he can overhit it by quite a long way and still be in blocking position. And that basically forces Felix to do something about black this shot. So it looks like Alison and Helen have finished game two. Cracking shot. Um, Cracking shot. But now Rob plays the block, right? Block on the hoop. Just sneaks in front. Yeah, I think so. With a view to presumably clearing yellow with black next shot. That's nice and aggressive. Nice. Red just goes in front here. Yeah. And you just got to take the line of I'm going to hit blue with yellow wherever yellow is. I think clearing blue here would be an error. Because if you clear it straight, it's just hitting the hoop. And if you clear it at an angle, you lose red. Yeah, that's good. I like yeah, that's that. the right decision. Just put it in front. So the question now is, has black got a spot to put yellow on that boundary? So no, I don't think you go for that cut. No, I, I think, think you just, just say hit centre ball and maximise distance. And also, if you aim centre ball, you maximise your margin for error as well. It's possible you? he might shoot at red instead. Oh, I don't know how much that burns him. This is yellow, isn't this it? This is yellow. It's a close call, and I think actually either is fine. He just needs to make his mind up and choose one. I think he has. This is yellow. Yeah. Oh, cracking shot. Yeah, that's nice. And, and black in hoop uh, running position as I well. I mean, he would have been very greedy if he was explicitly playing for black there, but it's a good reward for a good shot. That That's a very good shot. And black is a little deeper than most hoop positions, but... Coming off a clearance, that's tremendous hoop position for Black. It could be academic if Felix clears this or doesn't clear this, um, because if he clears, Blue's probably got a long return clearance. But yeah, the way the game's been shaping up, they've been hitting more than they've been missing. Another miss at this hoop by Felix. So.
Rob has wrestled control at this hope and now has wow. the hope to go six five up. Yeah. And actually, what did we say the score was? Um, it was five three to Felix. Yes. Yeah. From four one up. From four one up. So, so I think this, this has been a big swing. Wow, well, uh, this sort of feels like it's been a game of two halves. It feels like Rob's. I felt like Rob just took a little time to Find warm up to being back on the lawn again. Yeah. And as soon as it sort of clicked, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say Rob has been dominant. I would just say I would say that I would say that Felix in the opening set, like a few hoops, was more dominant than Rob has been in the remainder. But Ooh, Rob's been grinding open. out the wi the hoops. Yeah, so I think blue can see red there. He so can. red's not quite gone far enough. He can. And that's. And red has got, there's quite a lot of space between red and the hoop, so black, there's quite a lot of space for black to get in tight here between red and the hoop. It does look like Rob's lining something up. I don't know whether he's just making sure that the black ball goes between the peg and the hoop. Uh, sorry, the red? Yeah, that's it looks not, that that's way, that's doesn't not it? That's not a clearance, isn't it? No, he needs to make sure this gets past red, which he has done. It and has, it looks yeah. like it's, oh, Ooh. it looks like it's healed a little bit, so it's not quite in blocking position, but it's still draws a blocking position, then. It's not the nicest hoop shot. It's still a hoop shot. Yeah, uh, I think it's jaws rather than running though. Um, but blue's got quite a short clearance on red, and yellow's Ooh. gone a little bit too far as well. I think I might be it's taking a little bit um, out of position positions here, right? Yeah, so I think blue will be taking the clearance on red here, and then well, we'll have to see what red does. Rod's probably taking the clearance on black. Red could hit into black. Yeah, or it could even hit into yellow. That's still. Ooh, that was very close to yellow. That's an it? okay outcome. Um, I don't think. I don't think um, there's much scope for a flick here with yellow being as out of position as he is. Yeah, yellow's very angled, isn't it? I think. Um, I think here you're just aiming for centre ball black, and if red does happen to flick off to 13, you reassess whether you um, go for an aggressive shot with yellow to try to maximise your advantage. But yeah, I think right now I'm just focus on getting rid of black. And that's oh, he's missed again. That happened. 